Use your thumb and first finger, do most of the holding, and the other fingers are just sort of for support. It's a stage fencing sword, uh, so none of the edges are sharp and there's no point on it. And uh, we're doing a class here to teach people sort of a little bit about what goes on with the creation of a fight for a stage production or a film production. So teaching actors how to fight without actually hurting each other. So we're going to demonstrate uh, a quick succession of cuts and parries. Okay. So I'll be cutting to Anita and she's going to parry. Just note how we place the sword at all points. We're never actually trying to hurt each other. Right. So here's our one, two, three, four, and five. Good. Five, two, five again. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, all right. Here we go. Up high. Three. Okay. Good. Five, two, five. Good. Okay. I want to burn my chest. Perfect. We have a, uh, it's called a quasse. Okay. Right? I'm pushing my opponent's blade, taking control of it, and moving it offline okay. to the least advantageous po position possible, which is behind you. Cool. Right? Pointing it at me again. So here we have a bind. Okay. Just keep it at me. Okay. It's our bind. We can do an envelopment. So, oh, keep your sword at me. Okay. okay. Or well, we can do it really big too. Keep it up my head. All right. Yeah, we can do a really big one all the way around. Yeah. Um, I was always into sword fighting since I was a kid. I my parents used to take us to Renaissance fairs and medieval times and that kind of thing, so I got into it. And then after college, I went and uh, worked at Renaissance fairs all over the country, jousting and sword fighting and choreographing. And so this is how I kind of worked my way into teaching actors how to how to fight on stage. I will say it's almost similar. I did used to go to medieval times in, what was it, Lyndhurst, New Jersey? Mm -hmm. I, yeah. But yeah, it's still there. I've always wanted to do the sword fighting side of things as opposed to the performance side. So let's see how it goes.